every Canadian knows at least one person who has been to Cuba. You know, if you asked me a year ago what came to mind when I thought of Cuba, I would have told you three things. Beaches, old cars, and Cuban cigars. Today, after having seen the other side of Cuba, and after having lived and traveled with the Cuban people, I can tell you that I will never again see Cuba the same way I did before. How is the life in Cuba? Very well. Very well. How is the life in Cuba? Very well. The life here is very, very good. We asked one of the young girls we were talking to what she thought about Venezuelan President Hugo Chavez since in a few days we'd be interviewing his brother in Havana and to our surprise she had a quite a bit to say about it. Hugo Chavez nos presta mucha amistad a nuestro comandante Fidel y a nosotros porque eh, los Estados Unidos son muy malos, ellos quieren con conquistar a Cuba y como no pueden porque Cuba es muy, es muy poderosa ellos, aquí en Cuba tenemos cosas que ellos no tienen aunque ellos tengan más, más dinero más, más riquezas y eso pero nosotros tenemos con el amor que nos da nuestro comandante nosotros tenemos con eso bien gracias we'd have some extra time on our hands. And at first we weren't sure what we would do. But that was until we met Roberto, the man who would forever change how we viewed life in Cuba. I specifically remember the first day we met Roberto. It was on a typical day in Havana and we were walking around the streets. We came across this guy who could speak English very well, so we started talking about life in Cuba. After talking with Roberto for a while, he agreed to do uh, an on-camera interview with us the next morning. Now, unlike every other Cuban we'd talked to since arriving, Roberto was the first person to say a single negative thing about life in Cuba. 